Yeah. Is it working? It's on? Are you sure? Yeah. Okay, why is it on and you don't hear me? To be honest, really. Are you getting Yeah. Why are you laughing? No, really. I can hear you. I don't know. I don't understand. Hello, hello. No. Okay, yeah, but you can hear me? Or should I have to shout? We can hear you. Okay. Or can I use the other mic? So, um... Yeah, it was a difficult, was a difficult match for us. Um, surely, with um, I don't know how many players were not there today, who used to be there. Um, short time of training with the the guys. We had one day less than uh, Niger. Um, I think. In Europe, this will never happen. And it has to, CAP has to do something about it. That the last two games must be on the same day, so that because one day is a lot in these circumstances, one day is a lot. So they have to change it. This is for sure. Um, I think we started okay, but we conceded a goal um, on set pieces. Um, we were aware that because the last time we met them, they also had one corner and one goal. So we are aware that um, these are the possibilities, counter-attacks and set pieces on how they could score us. Um, yeah, we didn't defend them well, but like I said, those players, they have never played together. Um, it was difficult um, um, for them to organize it well. We addressed a lot of things in advance, um, but um, yeah, surely we have to defend um, these set pieces better. Um, yeah, it seems like everything is going against us. Um, <clears throat> um, the, after we switched the, to back four, I think we came in well, and the players did well. Um, adapting fast to the new system, we created chances. We were unlucky with, I think, one free kick also with the post. We had some chances. Um, and at the very end, I think we had the chance to at least equalize, but um, yeah, at the moment, everything is going against us, but um, I've been so long in this business, um, it's, this is sometimes a negative structure, and um, now we have a break, and we have to refill ourselves and um, yeah, take the positive things out of it. Um, I think there were some positives, especially with, with players who hadn't played, but did well today. Um, and yeah, this is this is um, what we can take out. And surely, everybody's disappointed. Um, we know even if we would have played draw or if we would have it happened, wouldn't change anything. But for the energy level of the country, for the energy level of our players, it would have been at least good to to equalize or to play draw but um, yeah today was in this case in terms of the result was not our day i will really like um, everyone to surely stay peaceful to 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 not attack the players if possible um, um for me i don't know but i have the I have the feeling that something sometimes in certain situations goes into the head and um, you have the power, the media have the power to, to control the narrative of, of games, not only by the results, um, and you have the narrative to, and you have the power to, 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 to lift somebody up. You can lift somebody you can, even if Let's say somebody did something bad, you have the power to write something good so that the guy gets away with everything. And you have also the power to, to let's say, to a good guy to write it down like bad. If you go on me, you can do it, you can continue, it's okay. This is normal, the results are not okay. But um, the players are really need you to, to leave them alone, they give the all. But this is football sometimes, you can, you can be better or equal and you don't play, draw. You can be better, you lose. This is football. 
And yeah, I, before I finish, I know a lot of questions will come. I would like us to use this opportunity to pray for peaceful elections. I don't, I don't, I don't, I don't want this football field, uh, this football game to have an uh, effect on this. It's very, very important. We have a peaceful country. We should leave it like that, no matter the outcomes. Um, and then surely, um, even though there were our, our rivals, pray for peace in Niger and pray for peace in Sudan. Thank you very much. Um, I would I would take your questions now. A uh, lot of hands. Okay, let me start from my right. Um, okay, please pass on the microphone for me. Thank you very much, Henry. My name is Ben or Ben Ghazi. I'm with EIB Network. Coach, difficult moments clearly. Six matches in the qualifiers, three points from the six possible mean. Eighteen. Personally, as someone who has been so experienced from playing football and now in management or coaching, if you were not the Black Stars coach, how will you assess this whole journey of the qualifiers of the Black Stars? Very good questions. Um, I see things always difficult and different um, because, especially if I see the matches, I'm not. It's a result spot. So at the at the end, especially those who didn't see our, our matches will call for whatever. Um, but um, me, from outside, if I look at football match, it's, I'm not like if somebody lose or they play that. I'm not like that. So I'm accessing games differently. And uh, football is sometimes like that. It's bad luck. But at the end, I'm very, very disappointed. That's true. And I, I can understand everybody who's disappointed uh, or, or maybe angry. You know, it's, it shouldn't be to a certain extent. Um, it's, it's disappointing. It's, and at the end, um, we have to do better. Hey coach, my name is Joyce um, from Angel FM. I don't know your game plan for this particular game, but no. I think I saw your side that wanted to kick the ball behind the opponent's defense line, run in and then punish them. First of all, your striker runs for the field because he didn't know when and how to run in. And then again, your defenders, none of them could give a great pass. I mean, the long ones. It wasn't working, but we kept on doing that from minute one to 90 minutes. My question is, was that the only option that we could have used to outweigh the opponent, or we could have had another plan? Because so you have think, who could okay, hold so on first to of the all, um, if, you, if this is all you saw, then you didn't see enough. Uh, maybe you could describe how we scored the goal. Was it a long ball and then we did something or maybe we came over the side? And we had a lot of situations where we came over the side where we didn't score, uh, where the cross was not good enough, where um, somebody was in between, where we had an opportunity to shoot. I think one time we could have shot somebody's hand. So, and I could, there's no tactical board. I would show you a lot of things, what we did also in the game, but also there were long balls, you know, not to neglect that. There was long balls, but it's always a decision of the player. I'm not, for me, there's always more plans. And the, the, the decisive thing is how does the opponent react? If an opponent is, is close to somebody, somebody can run behind. Because let's say the last line, the defenders would push up, our midfielder to Kukuros, maybe behind us again. Then you can play. Sometimes, if school, let's say, Kukuros drops a little bit, the defender does come, you have to play in between the line. So there are more things. But the decisive thing is how is the um, opponent reacting? And this determines the way we should play. Do you understand what I mean? Coach. Uh, um, coach, good evening, sir. Uh, my name is Ebene Zamuzu, I work with Hot FM. My name is Ebene Zamuzu, I work with Hot FM. Coach, my question is very simple. I would want to know that after this unfortunate incident, when the Africans qualified to the AFCON 2025, as the head coach of the Black Stars, will you resign? Thank you. Will you resign? Will you resign? Yes or no? Is it a question or just a statement? Yes or no? 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 I want to ask, is that a question? Please, 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 please. 
Please let me ask my question, please. I beg you guys, please. Yes, coach, uh, my question was that after this unfortunate incident, um, as Ghana couldn't qualify to the AFCON 2025, Ghanaians are down, yourself you are down, everybody is down, the GFA is down. Would you resign as the head coach of the Black Stars? Okay. Um, this question is for sure legitimate and normal, normal question. But surely you don't know me, you don't know my life, what I've been doing and where I was. I was very down. People have been chasing me, whatever. You, you, you don't know my life, but I'm nobody who can, who can, who can resign. I'm, I'm not a person who can resign. If I would, would have done this, I would never become a national player. I would never become... Uh, 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 uh. I would never become a, 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 a player in the Bundesliga and I would never become a coach, you know? I'm, I have a very, very different mindset than somebody who would resign. Different mindset, totally. Towards them and I have to protect them. If I'm, if, 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 if I will sit here and maybe be sad, maybe when I go to, go home, I'll be sad, maybe, but for them, I have to protect them. So this, this is the first thing, and, and I, I don't know, sometimes people take, I don't know if you've see, seen the whole press conference, but sometimes people take things out of context. I'm just saying that when I criticize, because the question was, how do I react or how do I take it? And I said, I, I don't take it personal if, especially somebody, Oops, like, if, like this lady asked, like, oh, why didn't we play like this or we did this? That's fine, you know? But if somebody gets personal, this is what I'm, I said, then I refer more to people who understand the game and talk. Even there are some Ghanaians who understand, a lot of Ghanaians who I talk to, who understands the game. And they say, oh, also, maybe this was, uh, we have to do this on set pieces. And I, I take my advice, you know? And, and I was just saying, I take my advice from a lot of experience. So this, let's say somebody is just shouting like, or oh, resign or this or that, it's, it's not like it, it can affect me because after, the, after the, every game, I go through every game, I see what we could have done better and there are always things. There's no game with, where we couldn't have done or maybe myself have, couldn't have done things better on the pitch or maybe sometimes off the pitch, there's no game. There's, there's always something to improve. And this is what I'm looking for. And surely for this, I need expertise. That's what, all what I said. And it's not like it doesn't touch me or nothing. No, I'm always giving everything, everything. And nobody can tell me this because unless you see how much I work or what I do, you know, and how much maybe I travel and how much I see and how much I, I watch. And, like I said, I'm, 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 there are also some positives to take to, to, to and uh, to see. And I don't want to point out now this or that player, but um, and there are some things which I saw where I think there will be something in the future. And it's, it's, never, like, it's never like it's not always going to be down. There will be better days, I, I'm very sure. And I experienced it myself as, as a coach, as an assistant coach, but also as a, as a, as a player. And I know it will be, Ghana will come back strong. You know, I'm, I'm very sure. I know a lot of people think about me. It's not in my hands, but I, and, and, until I'm here, I will give everything. This is how I, how I grew up. This is how I made it as a professional. This is what I can do. Thank you. Right. Otto, my name is Achu Tamaklu. I work with the multimedia. Yesterday, you length about and you came across as though you were apportioning blames instead of accepting responsibility. So, for example, you said a lot of people hate on the team, they hate on yourself. You also spoke about the criticisms which you have clarified. But I'm thinking, 
No, no, this is not what the Ghanaians are used to. And even for the men who you referenced, what we've seen them do is that when there is an unmitigated disaster, like you have superintended over doing responsibility, the show the most. You know, it is important in showing people that you understand how they feel about everything. After yesterday, now that you've reflected on it, and, and I think today has given you a sense of how people feel about everything that was said and even the explanation, would you want to clarify and let people see what actually you meant? Because I cannot for the life of me think that you actually believe that people hating the team is part of the reasons why the team did not qualify. Number two, we have seen, and I have no doubt in my mind that you've superintended over some of the worst football the Black Stars have seen. The football has looked completely disfigured. We have no identity, we have no spine. I was going through the number of last minute goals we've conceded, and I lost count. The number of goals we are also conceding from pieces. Clearly, there's a pattern of a failure to address a lot of the issues that affect us. Now, all of these considerations will be made in the determination of whether or not you should continue. You have said you will not resign. Why should the Ghana Football Association, because they have got a decision to make independent of what you have said, why should the Ghana Football Association or anyone have faith that you can actually do this job and not be fired? The first question, because it's, uh, you, you talked a lot, I'm very sorry, you know. <laughs> I said, in your communication, you fail to show remorse and assume responsibility for what has happened. And I reference your mentors who you mentioned that when we've seen them fail, and more often the, it is rare that they will fail on the scale that you have, they show remorse, they show responsibility, which is part of the healing process. You haven't done that. The closest we have had is an attempt to blame it on people who hate on you and the team. Are we going to get that today? No, look, it's when we lose, it's not, it's not, I'm talking always about little, little things, what everybody can do, you know? For me, to be very, very honest, we won against the uh, Central African Republic. Even before we played, I can, people sent me a lot of things, a lot of hatred, a lot, even before I was there, because people didn't want me to come. This is what I'm talking about. And then I'm, I'm talking even after we win, we're going to play our group. I get a lot of uh, hatred. I don't know why. That's, that's, what I'm, that's, that's just what I'm, I'm talking about. And surely when we lost, it continued. This is normal. No, but for me, if we win games and then you, you get hatred and players are being accused about this or that, that or, this is what I'm talking about. And I'm just talking about what everybody can do. And it's nothing to do that this is the reason. This is just maybe... 1%, but 1% can be a difference. Sometimes, if you score a penalty or not. It, I'm, I'm just saying, it's not, you are not talking about my, my responsibility, and it's my fault, if you want to say it like that, that we lost. And communication with the players, and at the end, there's, we are, it's our own fault. It's not your fault. Then you got me wrong. I'm just saying, I'm just saying like, like, everybody can do something about it. Because, Let's say you have a child, he does something wrong. If, you, if he does something wrong, and you just beat him, the next time um, he, he does doing something wrong, he won't be better. But if you tell him, look, you have to do it like this, that, maybe he will you take it different and do it better. That's, that's, that's what I'm trying to explain on this part. And the second question was? The second question was why you should be retained. You said you will not resign. So it's up to the GFA to make a decision. Yeah, but you have to ask the GFA this question. Why? I mean, like, 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 <laughs> it's, it's the same, like, that's, that's why the background was important. But it's the same, like, let's, if we turn things around, tables around. Yeah. For me, it's because the questions were good, okay? Don't take it personally. No, 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 I'm just saying, I'm just saying, you are a good journalist, in my eyes. Just don't take it personally. If I would say you are bad, then I will ask you, you would you resign? And you know, you won't do it. You know, it's like, I mean, <laughs> no, no, but, 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 no, 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 I'm just, that's why I said you are good. And I'm, I'm not, I didn't, I didn't want you to take it personal, you know? No, no, no. So I'm saying you're good, you're good. Because for me, the question you asked were good, you know? But then, if like, if you, maybe you think, like you said, then you're a good journalist, and I ask you, you resign, would you resign? You, you say no. 
you know, because you ask me like, why, why, I'd, and this, these questions are not in my responsibility, if I should continue or not, like, for me, I'm not, like I said before, and if the next question will ask, we can use the same answer, I'm not a person, I will, I'm never giving up on, on nothing, you know, I, this is the way I came up, if you want to be, let's say, a footballer, a professional, you will never give up, you fight, you work hard, you work even, you fall down 10 times, you stand up and you stand up the 11th time and then you do it. This is how I made it. It's not like I came up and then I, I made it as a professional. And the same as a coach. As a coach, it's not like, uh, oh, somebody will just give you anything for granted, a badge. You have to work hard. You have to have teams. You have to work with them. You have to surely get results, which were not there, 100%. This is my responsibility. No one else. And, and surely you will fall down as a coach. I can give you a lot of examples. And... So, I was playing under him. You know, we, were, we went down with mines for the first second and then we came up again. It's not like everything goes like this. No, his first year, the dog was two years, big, big problem. We were almost relegated. And then we came up and then we won the championship. So it's not like everything is going like this. It's a normal thing. And you, if you take the right things out of it, it will get better. But this is part of the job. And I know this is very, very normal that you are. You want me to resign, or you want me? I don't know what you want me to do here to cry or whatever. You know, you know, but but no, no, no. But but I'm very very sad. Look, look. When when I go home to my family, I didn't. I don't even want to go home because when I go home, I, I will see them crying. They're very very sad, and I I will be sad as well. I'm also sad. I'm sad. I'm very sad. And people, and I'm very very sad that Ghanaians are sad. It it touches me. It touches me very much. You know, I. It's, it's not about for me, and there's a different understanding. You will, I, I don't think you will get it because, because I was born in, in, in Germany. For me, to come down here is always with the heart, always. You know, there are some others even choosing to play nationalities for a different country, to a different country. I never had this in my, in my heart, never. I always want to play for Ghana and I always want to, to represent Ghana, always, always. Okay, yeah. No, 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 just walk from here before you go to the left. But I'm, I'm having the microphone here. How many minutes am I using? How many minutes? How many minutes? I'll ask. I want to ask him. I want to ask him. Let us respect his answer. He has asked a question. I want to answer. Please, 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 please. Okay, so... Um, really, I would like to apologize for the for the results very much, very much. If I if I have a wish, one wish, for, I know for a lot of people, even the World Cup is bigger than the Afcon. For me personally, the Afcon is bigger. For me personally, it's just a personal personal thing. I know for a lot of people, it's more important to go to the World Cup, and I did it once. I did it once, and. I'm just saying, after I did it for the World Cup, a lot of, before even I came, a lot of people were against me. I, mean, I can show you hundreds of things, my, my friends, but nobody apologized afterwards. No, some few, some few, not a lot. This is the first one. But I'm, I'm ready to apologize very, very much. I'm so sorry. I'm very, so, so sorry that we didn't do well and we didn't qualify. I'm very sorry. This one, 100%, I really have to apologize because I know how much it means for every Ghanaian to play in this tournament. I know it, I know it. Don't get me wrong, don't get me wrong, please. The second thing is, I'm, 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 and they are going to be very, very precise, very precise. I stopped playing football after I turned my, uh, I teared my ACL, even one time when I played for Ghana, and then afterwards I couldn't play. My knee is gone, okay? I to do everything for the country. When I was 37, I started my C license. I worked in Hamburg, Hamburg, Esbau, Hamburg, and the under-19 coach. I started as an assistant as an under-19 coach. Then five years, I was the head coach of the under-19 in Hamburg. Afterwards, I went to Denmark, first division, as an assistant coach for one and a half years. As an assistant coach in the first division, okay? Afterwards, I went to Borussia Mönchengladbach as an assistant coach and talent manager. And in that time, 
Christian Pierre asked me because um, Ghana was having uh, Germany in their group if I could scout for him in Germany because I was living in Germany to see to show him the strength and the weaknesses. So I did this in 2014. 2014 for six months I watched every match Germany played to prepare Kwasi appear for the World Cup in 2014 in Brazil. This is six months of scouting for Ghana. For, only for Ghana. Nobody else asked me. Only for Ghana I scouted. Six months. Then, so during that time also I did my B license, I did my A license. For this you always have to work in a certain position to, to, to be able to do it. It takes one year, one year. After that, I did my UEFA Pro license. I, I did my UEFA Pro license as a, as a coach for, for, to coach every team I want in the world. It was a long way, very long, a lot, a lot of studies. I did uh, hospitations. So because I, knew, I played together with Vince Company, I went to Manchester City to, to, uh, to, to, to one week for, uh, to talk with Guardiola, to see how it drains, whatever. I went to other clubs. I don't really want to mention that. That doesn't matter. So this is my journey. And I went to Brazil with the team of Ghana, 2014, to, because Kwesi liked what I did. He said, oh, it would be great if you could come to Brazil to scout not only Germany, but also the teams we are playing against during the tournament, what happened, so that he's actually up to date. I think, to be honest, we played very well. It was Kwesi up here. We did it 2-2. There were a lot of you know, problems within the team, and you know the story, 2014 was a little bit difficult, but the game, Germany, I think they played very well. They played, this was the only team who played draw against uh, um, Germany. And after that, I went back to coaching. I went back to uh, Gladbach, Borussia Mönchengladbach first division, assistant coach, but also in charge of the talents. And then, because we brought some young guys up, Dortmund hired me back again. And I was, I've been there five years, and I've been also like uh, eight months because they fired the one coach and assistant in the coach. So, so I did like, so I started 37 and now 49, 12 years of coaching. 12 years of coaching and six months of, of scouting. Now I'll ask you, what am I? And during the scouting also I was coaching. I was not, I never stopped. What, what am I? Well, then I think you scouting is better than you coaching. Okay, so you are okay. good at scouting than coaching. Oh, okay, okay. Because okay. you're coaching, you are not good at all. Okay.